guys, Prince of Macedon here, and we are here at the Orlando Science Center at the Pompeii, the Immortal City exhibit, which has only made three stops in the United States, and this happens to be its last stop here. So it's quite an honor for me, someone who's never been to Italy, to see Pompeii. Um, so this exhibit apparently has over 100 items, and they have items all the way from Italy. So this is a very unique experience for me. And um, we can't check out everything, but we're going to check out some of the highlights of this exhibit. Okay, so what you what you've got is throughout the exhibit, you've got these recreations of uh, technology that was being used in Pompeii in 79 AD. This this crane right here is to scale, but if it were life size, it would have been large enough for three or four men to fit in the wheel there to walk in it like a hamster wheel, and that's how they would have operated the crane, which would have allowed them to build those magnificent structures that you see in Pompeii and other cities. All right, guys, so here's a little recreation. It's called the Rustic Villa, and a very nice uh, little scaled-down model. Now, from what I understand, uh, when the volcano started to erupt, uh, the tiles on the roofs would reach close to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was cooking up there. Uh, the lowest temperatures would be found uh, like inside if you're caught in the rubble. Uh, the lowest temperatures would be around 200 degrees. That is like being inside an oven. That's how chilling uh, this, this event was. Bread was really, really popular in Pompeii. It was a, a status symbol. And there was about 30 bakeries scattered throughout Pompeii. And so what we're looking at is a 2,000 year old loaf of bread that was pretty much turned into carbon by the heat of the volcanic eruption. Okay, well, you know, Pompeians love their wine. And uh, it was served in this horn. And so the, the horn didn't have a stopper on it. So once you started drinking from the horn, you couldn't really stop drinking from the horn. I guess what we're seeing here is when the volcano settled, uh, they found a lot of these, uh, these cavities inside the, uh, inside the ruins. So they filled these with, uh, with some kind of plaster. And uh, what you're seeing here are the actual shapes of, of Romans and whoever else happened to be uh, buried under, uh, under Mount Vesuvius's destruction. So this is a really, it's a really chilling and, and crazy scene. But like, this happened in 79 AD, but honestly, this kind of stuff still happens today. Uh, back in 91, you had Mount Pinatubo, which had very comparative uh, destruction level as, as Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. So uh, I'm here with uh, Jeff Stanford. He's the one who, who was uh, narrating some of those, uh, some of those clips. And uh, I want to ask you, um, you've been working with these items for a few weeks now. Um, what do these items say to us in 2020? Something that we can learn from it, perhaps. Absolutely. Uh, what I think is remarkable about these displays is how similar they are to so many things that we have today. And, and, and so that tells me two things. One, Pompeii was a remarkably advanced society. You know, 2,000 years ago, to be performing surgery and engineering and having running water and, and, and thriving import-export businesses and advertising. I mean, it really shows us a lot about the similarities between our two cultures. I also think what's really fascinating about the exhibit is Time marches on, technology changes, culture evolves, but people are basically the same. You know, we we still, you know, we we value we value good food, we value art, you know, we we want to be entertained, we want to build things, we want to find out about things. So art and science kind of translates throughout the centuries. That's what the exhibit speaks to me. Thank you so much for your time. This is such an honor to see all this. Well, thank you, and thank you for coming out. And uh, we hope everybody can come and see Pompeii the Immortal City at Orlando Science Center while it's on display. Uh, as you said, we are the last of its uh, U.S. tour, one of only three cities in the country to be able to host the exhibit. And so we're just thrilled to have it and to share it with everyone.